Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Paul Plusa. Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's Captain's Blog. It's uh, 947 on Sunday, January 1st, 2017, and... This is where we're at. These are finally dry and done, and I get to peel them, and we get to completely finish out the blast shield, which is a nice way to spend a Sunday morning. So let's get these peeled. This tape is like 99% good for getting decent lines. Like it's 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 perfectly acceptable for general lab use. But I bought some uh, different tape for doing my car because this doesn't have quite the sharpness on the lines. Like there's there's always a little bleed over. I do my car, I want to try and avoid as much of that as possible. So that's what the finished corner bumpers will look like. Still not sure how I feel about it, but eh. I wanted to do some manner of detail work on the corner bumpers. I wanted to keep the tops yellow so that you'd see that sticking out. This is, it's not as busy as I would have liked. Also not motivated enough to redo them. <laughs> so it's just gonna be that way. And if you look close on these, you can see that I didn't sand as well as I should have. And some of the tape that, or some of the paint has pulled off. But they're corner bumpers, so the tape's going to get knocked off of them anyway, and it doesn't really matter. That's kind of what they're for. Tops on these were kind of a bitch to mask. So I've come home for bolts. And this is held on with the T25 Torx, and now we get to install them. Well, that looks pretty good when they're on. That's not bad.
Cool. Yeah. I'm sorry. Alright guys, it's official. 0955, January 1st, 2017. This one is done! That is a finished project. Let's get a look at it. There you go. Portable blast shield for lab use. First finished one of the year. Cool. Today's Captain's Blog is made possible by a grant from Paul Plusa.